I've made a couple of videos in the last few years about my treadmill desk. Speaking of which, I actually upgraded my treadmill desk earlier this year. Never made a video on it. I probably ought to do that. If you'd like to know more about my new treadmill desk and what I do with it and everything, it's right here. And as you can see, I've got my work stuff up there. I am currently using it, but that's not what this video is about. But if you want to see a video about that, let me know down below. What this video about is a company called FlexiSpot reached out to me and said, hey, we make this product and they wanted to ship one out to me for me to try out. Who am I to say no? So I got an email earlier this week from FedEx saying that a 75 pound package was headed my way. I had no idea what it was because they didn't actually say they were going to ship it, but here it is. So this box contains the FlexiSpot V9 what they actually call the Desk Size Pro. If you order this from their website, it is currently $449, although the retail price on it is $499. And just in terms of what it is, you could probably see from the packaging there, it's a desk that's also a bicycle. So it's kind of like my treadmill desk, but instead of being a treadmill desk, it's a bicycle desk. Now, some of the cool things about this, I've just got notes here so I can kind of read it off to you. They say there's a one minute assembly, which means that you basically just pull it out of the box, stick the desktop on it, and you're ready to go. They say it works for anybody between five foot one and six foot two. I'm about five foot eight with a seat height between 29.7 and 37.2 inches. It's got eight resistance levels. It's quiet. It's ultra smooth pedaling. It has an ultra wide desktop although 19.6 to 22.8 inches is not that wide. The desk that I've got here is quite a bit wider than that, but if you just want to put a laptop or a book or whatever on there, it'll probably be fine. It's got 360 degree easy rolling casters with gravity sensors, which means these wheels at the bottom, they roll around, they go 360 degrees, and when you sit down on it, it locks them in place. And I guess without any further ado and without me reading any more notes on there, let's go ahead and just get it out of the box and put it together. It says it should take one minute, so I'm just gonna see if I can do that. But this is everything you get. So you get the base, which actually folds down to be pretty compact. I kind of figured the legs were not going to fold, but they do. The pedals do fold up as well, so technically you could fold this all up and store it under a bed or in a closet. Although why would you do that if you're going to buy it and not use it? You get the desk itself, which is just going to slide on here in just a minute, and a couple of batteries so that you can actually power this little doohickey right here that goes through scan, timer, speed, distance, calorie, odometer, and RPM. Like I also said before, eight levels of resistance from one to eight. It's currently set on eight, and actually just looking at this, it looks like it might have been used before. It looks like like it's a little worse for wear. It's not in bad shape or anything. It's just not perfect and pristine. It's pretty close. Batteries will go in here and they did provide them. I did forget to mention it also came with this whole user guide, although assembling it and making it work, it's not gonna be that difficult. And there's this little package. I looked it up and these are pedal covers, I guess just softer because the ones that are on it right now look more like traditional bike pedals. These look to be a little bit more comfy. There's also a little Allen wrench adjustment tool, presumably. And it said something about there being a coaster, so I'm gonna look for that too. Yes, there was a cup holder in there with the pedal covers. Looks like it just goes right in here. This is supposed to be the cup holder area. There's also this little Allen wrench hex key as well as a bolt, which from what I quickly read is the way that you attach the desktop itself to the rest of the frame. Just kind of like this. You put it down in here and you screw it in using the hex key. I think that's on tight enough at this point. And also you've got a lever on this side, a lever on the other side. This one makes the desktop go forward and backward, so you can actually use this as a standing desk. Just pull the lever and bring it toward you or away from you, just like that. And it's actually got about a foot of travel, maybe a little more. The one on the right hand side makes the desktop go up and down, so you just hit it and it goes up. I don't think it's going to come down on its own, I'd have to actually put some weight on it, but that's kind of a good thing. And again, it does go up pretty tall, as you can see. The seat also has an adjustment, actually big, comfortable seat, it looks like lots of padding. But there is a lever on the underside here, just pull that, the whole thing moves up. Then you've got a pretty tall standing or biking desk. Because technically, like I said, you can use this lever over on the left side to bring it over close to you. And then you can actually stand here behind it and just work. In terms of the work surface, yeah, it's not terribly big. This is my 13-inch MacBook Pro. It'll hold this. It would probably do a 15-inch, but not much beyond that. So you're not going to want to put a drink or anything up here. That's why you have the cup holder down there. But I think what I'll do, I'm still in the middle of my work day here, so I'll probably take my work laptop, set it up on here, get to pedaling, get back to work, and I'll let you know in an hour or two what it's like. Okay, so very early impressions of the bike. I've been sitting here using it for a few minutes now, probably five minutes. The desktop is not huge, but it does have enough room for my phone, my 15-inch work laptop, remote for the TV, because the TV's just across the room. I've tried different pedaling levels from one all the way up to eight. Eight is not really usable for me, not yet. I'm currently on four, and that's a pretty good place to be. One, there's almost no resistance at all. And if you can hear it, it's, it's not the quietest thing ever, but in terms of being a bike, it's, it's not that loud. I think it's actually as quiet as, or maybe a little bit quieter than my treadmill desk. And there's not any clomping of feet because I'm not walking, I'm pedaling. 
I did also go ahead and install the pedal covers that came with it. As you can see, they were not terribly difficult to install. They're just silicone covers. They make it a little bit softer to the touch. So if I wanted to do this barefoot, I could. I'm already starting to break a sweat a little bit though. So that's not bad. Not a bad thing to do while you're working. And I probably ought to get back to it. Okay, a little while later, I've been riding for probably 25 or 30 minutes. I just hit seven miles on this ride. And I do have a few very early thoughts about this desk. One, as I did mention earlier, whew, sweaty, out of breath. Getting anywhere above like level six starts to get really, really difficult, which is a good thing if you want that kind of difficulty. Like I said, I'm very sweaty and I've just been going at four or five the whole time. <laughs> number two, number three, these are kind of not so great things. The first one's not gonna be so obvious unless you're doing this completely hands-free, like if you're just watching something across the room. As you may be able to tell there, the desk is wobbling, shaking back and forth. It's not a whole lot, it's not enough to make anything on the desk fall off, but that is something to be mindful of. If you just lean on the desk a little bit, that does hold it in place pretty well. So not as big a concern, just something I thought I'd mention. The other thing though is if you touch the desk, it moves. Because the mechanism down here that holds it in place is just a little bit loose. That could just be the unit that I've got here. Again, it's not something you're likely going to be doing a lot of, but it does have some wiggle room to it. So in theory, you could bang it just right and the stuff on the desk could slide off. So be careful. But so far, like I said, I've done seven miles on it. I could very easily do another five to 10 and I probably will do some more a little while later. For right now though, early impressions. I like it a lot. The seat's pretty comfortable. Everything's adjustable, which is very nice. And when I'm done with it, I can just sort of stow it away. The gravity sensor locks in the wheels are a little bit weird. If I move it, you can kind of hear it vibrating maybe. So that's not working terribly well, but it's entirely possible. I just haven't got it completely set up right yet. It does roll, all the wheels roll. It just, it has a vibration to the rolling, but I like it. I like it a lot. And I am again going to continue to use it for a little while. I gotta find a better place for it because right now it's sitting out in the middle of my office floor, but I think that's kind of the point. You can fold it up and put it away when you're done with it. There's one thing that does keep it from being completely hide away very easily. And that's this. And this is supposed to be that way. In order to take this apart, you do have to take this bolt out. And that does kind of stink. It'd be really nice if it were just like a push button, a click. That would make it truly easily portable. Pick it up, put it away when you're done with it. But as it stands, it's pretty decent. So I think that's where I'm going to wrap the video up for today. I'm going to continue to use it. So if you have any questions, anything you'd like to know about it longer term, let me know. Thanks so much to FlexiSpot for sending it out for me to take a look at. I will definitely be using it. I'm sure my wife will probably be using it too because she uses my treadmill desk a lot in the evenings. But thanks as always for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to receive more. Ting the little bell so you get notified. And I'll see you again next time.